Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Metal video. In this video we are going to take a look at the Extreme Z battle for the physical future Gohan unit. So this is the latest Extreme Z battle to come to DBZ Dokken Metal Global and it features the Future Saga category lead Future Gohan. So Future Gohan for a while was obviously a decent unit, still pretty decent defensively once his damage reduction built up. But with his EZA, he is an absolute brick wall and he can hit very decently. Uh, so the strength or the extreme strength type units are going to be good here and androids category units are going to be good here. So you're going to want to build your team around those two facets to try and maximize your damage. As always, you'll receive one stone per stage and you'll receive a couple Kai's as well, totaling 10, 10 physical grand elder Kai's. Then, in terms of his EZA, it's pretty good. He greatly raises attack and defense. He has 170% across the board for his leader skill. And he has attack of 158%, raises defense by up to 158% depending on the health that he has remaining. Reduces damage received by 30% as a flat rate plus an additional 7% damage reduction per turn up to 28%. He also gains an additional attack and defense of 120% and a medium chance of performing a critical hit when there is a future saga category ally whose name includes Trunks. So pretty interesting about him that he has that uh, ability. Obviously it's great that his defense uh, essentially is damage reduction is non-dependent on other units which is great uh, and of course you know he looks really really solid. So there's a couple missions as well, nothing too crazy, uh, but these missions in general, pretty solid, the usual stuff, complete a stage above 10 or higher under a certain time limit, it, you know, beat a stage above 20 under a certain time limit, and of course use the Android Saga category units in a stage above 20 to defeat it. So in terms of Androids, what kind of options do we have? Well on the strength side we have two free to play options in the form of the strength Android 18 Future and the Strength Android 18 who you can get from the Bubba Shop. If we take a look at the expanded uh, kind of Androids category, there's quite a few decent Strength units. So the Android 17 Strength unit who also got an EZA is a decent unit especially when lined up with a Android 18. We then have Android 21 who's probably the premier Strength unit that you can utilize. Uh, there's also some decent agility options which I think you should look at like Super 17, uh, the LRZA or the free to play LRZA, uh, Android 17 and 18 are also super duper solid and there's a couple more banner units that you can pick up. You can use this strength cell as well, this uh, perfect cell, uh, he's also going to be pretty decent. So I, I think this is a solid lineup to go with uh, overall. You can use plenty of other units, you can use Tech Super 17, you can use a whole wide variety of units. Uh, it's not necessarily only these units, but I think this team here is a nice mix of free-to-play options uh, along with solid summonable units. Uh, you don't need to have Android uh, 21 Easy Aid, I feel, to have her be very good. Uh, I just think, you know, she'll be perfectly fine. Now one thing I did notice uh, in terms of this Extreme Z battle is that it's Gohan's quite tough um, in terms of defense. He can take a lot of damage uh, which is you know, obviously a testament to his passive and everything. Uh, he's not that dangerous in terms of, of hitting hard but he, he can hit quite hard. It was overall not a super difficult Extreme Z battle but my team was very optimized. Uh, I felt like it was definitely an Extreme Z battle that, for the most part, uh, was quite grindy. You could feel the slog through each um, little phase. If you didn't get crits later on, you started to really just not do a lot of damage, uh, which was quite noticeable uh, overall. So, yeah, I think in terms of difficulty, Gohan's not, you know, impossible, but I definitely feel like... Uh, the challenge is there, especially for people who maybe don't have Android 21, uh, who don't have the LR 17 and 18 Easy Aid. I feel like there's quite a few things, you know, that you should or can have done that will help you. Uh, but if you don't have them, you are going to have a little bit of a harder time overall. So yeah, as always, we'll jump ahead uh, to stage 10. 
At this point, nothing too much has changed. Uh, he's just immune to stunning, uh, which isn't too like massive, and he's immune to reduction of defense. Uh, things that can help you in terms of the stage, uh, obviously, things like using your know, critical hit gear will definitely help you out quite a bit. Critical right, hit gear will solve a lot of your problems. It's just going to enable you to do some decent damage through the damage reduction that Gohan has uh, and it'll help keep pace and keep tempo. Uh, beyond installing crit gear, just make sure that you have gear on all of your units. I know a lot of times people can find uh, you know, stages or events quite challenging, but they actually haven't like put on gear onto their units. Like They haven't actually functionally put anything on to help. And just having even an extra three levels in crit, you know, that's an extra 6%, an extra, you know, five in additional, that's an extra 5% chance to, to do an additional attack, 2.5% chance of an additional super, uh, you know, just a 500 attack, you know, it's an extra bit of damage or a 500 defense, it's a little bit of extra reduction. Even health, if you have no other gear, even just putting on health can help you at certain points. I mean. If you've got nothing else, giving yourself some health, giving yourself some type damage reduction to change the modifier, uh, gear is helpful. Even if it's only slightly, even if you don't have the world's greatest selection, that gear is still going to help you. It's not going to ever harm you. No gear you, no gear you put on your unit is going to make that unit bad. It's not possible. A unit cannot distinctly be worse by having gear. So there's no need for you to not put gear on those units. So. I definitely would suggest uh, that you guys place gear on your units if you are struggling. It is going to help you out quite a bit uh, and it will be something uh, that will assist you uh, a little bit. You know, um, just like uh, something that will help push you over the line. Uh, if you have great gear selection and you want to you know, place some top level gear on the units to help you out, you can do that as well. Um, out of all of these units, I really only suggest probably putting top gear on the you know, uh, LR, Android 17 and 18. They're just units that are very good, uh, especially after the LRZA. So putting gear on them, it doesn't really seem like a big waste uh, and it can be quite useful. So that's level 10 done. Uh, we'll now jump across to level 20 uh, and then obviously we'll jump across to level 30. Uh, so we're at level 20. Um, Nothing too crazy here. We'll take a look at the stage after we complete it uh, and see what changed. But the team build has remained exactly the same. The team build will remain exactly the same the whole way through. Uh, I feel like this team is a fair enough precipice uh, for people to copy and for people to kind of build off of. A big determining factor will be if you have an Android 21. Now, although she does help, there are some suitable alternative options. It's just going to be whether you can find them. AGL types are still, um, you know, not affected by the, um, you know, typing restrictions and that all the way through to level 30. So using AGL types like Android 13, etc., will be perfectly fine and will be viable units overall for you to utilize. Uh, Android 21 does help obviously with her healing, uh, which is something you know, that can't really be super equated, but her healing does help, especially later on uh, if you are struggling. So that is something that does happen. But as you can see, the LRZA is kind of doing a lot of the damage. Um, they are doing a very good portion of the work. Obviously, we've been getting lucky with you know the display of their crits, but yeah, they are doing a lot of good work. Uh, this Android 17 linked up with the Android 18 is also a very powerful combo. Um, there's also the other Android 18, uh, the other strength Android 18 who also got her easy A a while back. Uh, she's actually much better than this Android 18 than the free-to-play one. Uh, and if you use her, you will probably also have an easier time. Uh, so there's plenty of decent options. Uh, using MVP 17 as a lead is okay, it's entirely viable. Using Super 17 as a lead is also somewhat okay, it's, it's viable. Uh, it's just going to depend on what your box looks like and what your options are. 
it's very difficult to say, you know, this is definitely going to work, that's definitely going to work, um, when we don't actually know what's definitely going to work. Uh, but this team that I'm using definitely works because it does it. So if you can just use this as your template, um, you shouldn't really have too many issues. And I feel like the free-to-play options are accessible enough. Uh, the LRZA is quite difficult, but if you follow my video, then everything should be more than good to go. But yeah, so that's obviously stage 20 done. Uh, as you can see, we'll take a look at the info now, but uh, we're at the stage where ceiling doesn't really work. Uh, extreme AGL and extreme strength and extreme tech are what's effective here. So having something like a physical MVP 17 lead uh, isn't really going to work the best. Nor will having the Android 16, 17 and 18 leads work the best. So you're probably best with something like a Android 13, a Super 17, or a Android 21. Those are going to be your best bets. On stage 30, it's pretty much the exact same. Uh, nothing else has really changed. The info is you know, pretty much identical. So yeah, that's kind of the requirements, the specifications, the rules, I guess, the limitations on your team uh, for this entire Extreme Z battle. So. Yeah, definitely something that, you know, um, is quite challenging. The, you know, tech portion is also uh, a little bit difficult because obviously um, there's not like a huge amount of good tech Android units, um, except for the three very recent ones. So Super 17 is great. Obviously the Android 17 and 18 are great. So if you've got them, they're fantastic. Uh, and then you also have the... Android 18 EZA uh, and all three of those are pretty good. Android 18 EZA obviously relies a little bit on having Pepe Girls uh, which is you know, not something that's necessarily quite easy to do or quite easy to have um, but that being said uh, you, you, know, you should be more than fine. Android 13 will also still be very much usable uh, so for the most part you like not too limited in choice of the really good units uh, just bear in mind that obviously the AGL and the tech units won't have the benefit of type disadvantage uh, so you just do need to be a tad careful uh, when it comes to you know how am I actually going to utilize these units are they going to be you know focal point units are they going to just float I mean like Android 13 I would probably um, you know, float I would probably just utilize as a floater uh, let him kind of you know function uh, pretty solidly uh, which I think is great and so yeah like overall um, I think you've got enough options to complete this if you're a super brand new player these extreme Z battles can be challenging but I do always suggest going as far as possible you do get great rewards uh, a stone per stage you get hidden potential orbs you get you know physical kai's uh, so there's no reason to not uh, kind of push on with the event but it can be quite difficult so don't you know be despondent or feel like you can't necessarily uh, achieve or like just because you can't finish it off there's no point doing it uh, there's always a point doing it it is still going to be super helpful for you and it is still going to do a lot of good work for you so just you know try to essentially do as best you can with the units you have uh, and if you don't manage to get to the end then that's okay it will come back you can access them with keys there's a lot of options so don't feel pressured that you have to finish it and if you don't finish it you're not going to be able to uh, succeed or get things done so yeah uh, you definitely will have options and yeah everything will go fine so just keep keep moving and uh yeah uh you know just try your best uh plenty of great rewards here beyond the unit itself but yeah so there wasn't really any issues you can see we didn't really struggle like i said gohan's just quite tough he's got quite a like he's quite a tough unit like we're throwing a lot at him we're getting a lot of crits we're not getting a lot of movement on the health bar uh so his extreme z battle does seem to be tougher in terms of defense than other units which makes sense concerning his passive uh but if you look at his damage output i mean we have been supered ideally on our most ideal candidates but uh, if you just look at his damage output 
yeah, for the most part, we're not really feeling too threatened by that. So, yeah, uh, for me, it was a good Extreme Z battle. I don't think it's too harsh. I don't think the restrictions are too bad. Uh, and I think, you know, for what you get, I think it's definitely well worth it. But yeah, so that is stage 30, all done and dusted. Uh, and yeah, pretty cool, pretty stock standard. We get our last batch of Kai's. Uh, and now we have finished everything. We also managed to finish all of the missions. Uh, is this stage farmable for money? Yeah, if you have the right unit, you can farm it a bit for money. But uh, I just wouldn't suggest it. Um, nowadays, if you run the event, you shouldn't really struggle for money. But if you are struggling for money and you do have the right unit, you can definitely farm on this one. It will be okay. But yeah, beyond that, I think that's everything from me, guys. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. So until then, take care, stay safe, and as always, bye.